Marie says, Dear Pat, my question is about remarriages in the Bible. Is it true that if you divorce and remarry while your ex-spouse is still living, your marriage is not legal in the eyes of God? Does this law still apply today? Uh, I don't know exactly what law you're talking about. Uh, look, Jesus said in the beginning, God said, For this cause a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the twain shall be one flesh. Then he said, What God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And he said, If anybody divorces his wife except for the cause of, of well, fornication or adultery, uh, then he shouldn't be remarried. But we've got a situation in America where almost for every couple of marriages, there's also a broken marriage, a divorce. And there are millions of people who've got divorces and they remarry and they're trying to set up new families. And I've said all along, I think the church, which has been given the power of God to bind and loose, should loose this regulation and let people understand that God, that divorce is not the unpardonable sin and uh, the remarriage is not something that is forbidden forever. I, I, but I, I, I don't, it'll depend on the situation. There's the Pauline privilege. There's the question of desertion. There's what I would call constructive desertion. If the unbeliever is pleased to depart, let him depart. The brother or sister in bound. That's the Pauline privilege. And uh, I think if, it, if, a, if there's physical abuse and the partner is making it impossible to live with them, then in a sense they have, it is constructive desertion and it comes under those privileges. But the big deal is I really think the church needs to, to deal with this matter. I mean, as a body uh, and say, look, here's our ruling on this particular issue and cleanse people of this sense of guilt that they have been under because of, quote, breaking the law, all right? Yeah, we get this question quite often, don't we? No, we do. Well, there's so many people divorce and remarry. That's why we get it all the time, because people wonder. And God's I, grace. I just think, you know, but you've got to understand, if you just wanted to split, you didn't like your, your, your spouse, that's not reason. You've sworn a, a vow before God that your marriage will be until de and death you part. The question is, what is going on? There's, there are facts and circumstances that have to be considered. All right. Thank you for watching The 700 Club on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. To watch more great videos, check out the link in the description box below to download our CBN app.